there are three very important things that you need to know about thyroid issues. The first thing, thyroid issues isn't always thyroid issues. For example, the main cause, the most common cause for low thyroid issues is autoimmunity. And what is that? That's when the body's immune system mistakes normal healthy cells as foreign invaders and attacks it. So in this case, the thyroid issues is only a symptom of an underlying immune system issue. Now in traditional healthcare, this is rarely tested for because it doesn't change the way that paradigm treats thyroid issues. And so it doesn't get tested for it. Now there are two tests uh, to screen for this. And I suggest anyone who has been diagnosed with hypothyroidism or low thyroid to get tested for this because it's the most common cause. And these two tests are called a TPO antibody and a TGA antibody. And these tests will help determine whether that autoimmune process is going on. If it is, then the immune system needs to be addressed, not so much the thyroid. The second thing we want to talk about is genetics. Now, thyroid issues can be a genetic type issue, but we have to remember that genes always use our environment to turn off or turn on genes. Okay, so what I typically see if if, uh, if a patient comes in, let's say a 45-year-old mo mother comes in and we test those autoimmune thyroid markers, the TPO and the TGA markers, and they come back positive, we're then gonna, we're gonna screen the rest of the family because these antibodies can be positive decades before the thyroid gland is ever damaged enough for traditional healthcare to be concerned with it. So we're gonna screen for that to make sure uh, that other family members are, are not affected by that. And if they are, you can take very powerful preventative measures to make sure that the thyroid gland remains healthy over time. Now, the third thing we want to talk about is, is a blood test called reverse T3. And to give you the basics on thyroid tests and thyroid hormones is that you have an active form of thyroid hormone, and that's called T3 you have an inactive form, which is called T4, but uh, a rarely looked at form of T3 is called reverse T3. It is an inactive form of T3, which we said is active. So T3 is active, reverse T3 is not. But a lot of times, uh, if the body is uh, under stress or, or uh, the intestinal tract is not very healthy, the the thyroid T3 will go into reverse T3. And you may not see this on traditional healthcare tests, but the reverse T3 test can be done itself. And where this comes into play is that thyroid issues can be felt. You can have fatigue, uh, hair loss, um, the, that are the main symptoms, but the, the main lab tests, the typical lab tests that are run may look normal. And what we'll find uh, in many cases is that the reverse T3 would be very elevated, meaning that the T3 that your thyroid gland is producing is becoming inactive, which may cause some issues. So those are the big things we wanna talk about, things you may not have known about reverse, uh, about thyroid issues.